If you have recorded something at 60 FPS and then rendered it at 30 FPS, it may end up having a blur where two frames were rendered at the same time. Since YouTube only plays 60 FPS, besides several exclusive videos that do go up to 60 FPS, it would be unnecessary to render at 60 until YouTube releases an update that enables this feature. So if, if you do have 60 FPS video, you're going to have to change it to 30 before you render it. You do this by right clicking on your video track, opening the properties window, and changing the under sample rate to 0 0.5. Click OK. The video should now be playing back in 30 FPS. Please note this only works for the video track you've selected. You'd have to do it for each and every other video track you have. If you do render your video at 60 FPS in the end, YouTube still lowers the video to 30, causing artifacts and frame blending. And, <clears throat> in case you were wondering, yes, this is 7 hours, 19 minutes, 51 seconds, and s I don't know how many frames that is at the end of Titanfall footage. All Titanfall. All me.